The next instrument we're going to take a look at is Absinthe 4 by Native Instruments. If I go to Devices and bring up VST Instruments, as you can see in this state I have no VST Instruments loaded and I have essentially an empty Cubase project with four MIDI tracks in there. I pick four MIDI tracks for no reason other than to have more than one. So as we're probably used to by now, I bring up the menu and as we can see I have Absinthe 4 and Absinthe 4 Stereo. So we have the multi-channel version for surround sound and the stereo version. If I choose the stereo, we are presented with this interface. The surround version is identical to this, it will just utilise more of the output channels here. If I dismiss this, on the left, choose Not Connected and turn this into Absinthe 4 Stereo. And Cubase is now wired up to use the Absinthe 4 plugin. So this is what Absinthe 4 looks like in the initial state. Across the top we have a set of explorer bars, browser, perform, patch, effect and so forth. An indication of CPU usage, audio inputs and audio outputs. Additionally to this we have the Native Instruments logo which if you were to click it would give you a little bit of info such as the programmers and we have the panic button. This can be quite useful when creating sounds with long delay or decay times and you need to reset the audio engine or even just the MIDI notes you can hit the panic button and it will effectively kill audio outputs ready for you to resume as normal. So taking a look, here we have the browser window. As we can see, it is categorised in columns by instrument, source, timbre, articulation and genre. And over on the far right we have our results set. As you can see, this is currently set to 090 clap, which is also reflected here at this top section. If I was to choose 0902 snare, double click, we can see the name here alters to reflect this.